Whether you realize it or not, psychology plays a massive role in every aspect of our lives, including when it comes to securing your dream job. For instance, companies use psychology for marketing purposes. Have you ever wondered why they use some specific colors for their ad? Well, they're trying to capture your attention and make an excellent first impression so that they can stand out amidst others. In the same manner, when it comes to getting a new job, here's something that you should continuously remind yourself of. Many other candidates are waiting to get that same role. So, how do you stand out amidst other candidates who are also there for the job interview? I guess we can use a few psychological techniques to achieve that. So in this video, I'll share with you 7 psychological techniques to help you get a new job. If you are new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. 1. Let's start with color psychology. Wear business outfits with neutral colors. Your outfit should match the role that you applied to get. For instance, if it's a managerial role, wear a business professional attire. And as a woman, wear a pantsuit or a skirt with a neatly tailored blazer and low-level heels. In the case of an entry-level position or creative role, consider business casuals with neutral colors. For instance, A. Blue suggests that you are calm, stable, trustworthy and a team player. You can consider a dark shade of blue like navy. B. Gray symbolizes your logical, focused and analytical. It hints at sophistication. C. Brown depicts your dependable, honest and committed. D. White signifies you as organized, accurate and respectable. E. Black connotes authority. So, be sure to wear this color cautiously. In addition to the type of outfit you're wearing is the color. Colors portray some specific traits, some colors that you can infuse in your look such as your tie, brooch, etc. R. A. Yellow. We suggest warmth, clarity and optimism. B. Orange speaks friendly confidence and cheerfulness. C. Red symbolizes bold, excitement and youthful. D. Pink depicts wise, creative and imaginative. However, in adding other colors to your neutral tones, be careful not to overdo it so that you don't look all over the place. 2. Address your interviewers by their names. Addressing your interviewer by their name will not only help you remember their name quickly, but also make them feel more positive about you they'll also become more interested in what you have to say. Think about it. The last time you met a person for the first time and they address you by your first name, how did it make you feel? I'm pretty sure you warmed up to them instantly. Well, it's pretty much the same case here with your interviewer. Everyone likes to feel unique and important to others in a personal manner that is beyond the roles they occupy. So, after you've been introduced to your interviewer, repeat their first name by saying something like this, I appreciate your meeting with me, Mr. or Mrs. Note, try not to overuse the interviewer's name. 3. Mirror your interviewer's style and body language cautiously. Mirroring your interviewer's image or mannerism is a way to make them feel comfortable around and establish a bond between you two because it makes them feel relaxed and when they are, you can build trust between you two quickly. Start by observing their communication style. Are your recruiters formal or casual? Also, do they appear introverted or outgoing? Once you discern their nature, align your expression with theirs. For instance, if your interviewer leans forward, wait for about 30 seconds before adjusting your posture as well. If they smile or use hand gestures, try doing the same thing politely. However, in mirroring your interviewer's body language, be careful not to do too much. You're not trying to make them uncomfortable, neither are you trying to distract them. So don't obsess to the point of losing focus on the actual conversation. You can start by practicing with family and friends until you become good at it. Also, try not to mirror any negative images, otherwise you'll come off as being rude, disrespectful and unserious. Here's an extra tip. You can also use your recruiter's age to determine the flow of conversation. For instance, if your interviewer is between the ages of 1, 20 and 30, Generation Y. Point out your multitasking skills and provide samples of your work in a visual format that will impress them. 2. 30 and 50. Generation X. Talk about the way your life-work balance boosts your success and be sure to emphasize your creativity. 3. 50 and 70. Baby Boomer. Show that you respect them and their achievements. Make it clear that you're a hard worker. 
74, 70 and 90, silent generation. Talk about your commitment to previous jobs and loyalty. 4. Practice reflective listening. Reflective listening is when you repeat your recruiter's statement or question in your own words. The goal is to show that you understand both the terms and feelings of your interviewer. According to studies, doing this demonstrates that you have a comprehensive understanding of what the interviewer is trying to communicate and may also help to make your interviewer feel more positive about you. For instance, say your interviewer says something like this, your goal in this job will be to provide customers with the best shopping experience. However, the store is a fast-paced environment. While working efficiently, you must be courteous. You can respond with something like this. I understand that to provide the best shopping experience, I will need to work efficiently, yet politely. Customer satisfaction is the priority. Here's another example. Your interviewer says, This position requires a writer who won't have a problem covering a political story one day, a celebrity gossip piece the next, and can do both of them well and willingly. How does this sound? Your response should be something like this. So, you're looking for a versatile writer who's enthusiastic and up for anything. That's exactly how I would describe myself. As you can see from my clips, I've done everything from travel writing to investigative journalism. So, I believe I'll be a great fit for this job. Did you see that? It shows that you're paying close attention and you know what you are doing or about to do. 5. Smile, but do not smile too much. Yes, you want to appear serious because you're there on a critical mission, but be friendly and polite. One way to achieve this is by smiling but not too much. One study showed that candidates who smiled more at the beginning and end of the interview and less in the middle when they were focused on answering questions did better than those who smiled continuously throughout. 6. Be honest about your weakness. Interviewers like to find out what their candidates' weaknesses are by asking them directly. While you don't want to say anything that's going to make you look undesirable, providing an honest answer is essential. Here's something you should know about your recruiters. Asking this question helps them point out those that are lying because everyone must definitely have a weakness. Lying to your recruiter in this aspect is a big turnoff. Say your weakness is disorganization. You can say something like this. I'm not as organized as I would love to be, but I'm working on improving. Did you see that? Even though your weakness isn't something to be proud of, be positive in your response and approach to it. It'll give you an edge. 7. Don't be scared to compliment your interviewer and the company. Find something you like about the organization your recruiter represents and compliment it. Or you could genuinely praise the interviewer. It'll help build rapport between you two. For instance, you can say something like this. It must be exciting working for the second largest communication company in the country. Make sure you do your research well so that you don't end up flattering the company or recruiter when you should be complimenting them. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.